Good evening, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with the Trumpet for My People. Today is Friday, May 7th, 2021. And I have more information for you about May 26th, 2021. The night of the total lunar blood eclipse. And this amazing information that I'm going to be sharing with you is unbelievable unbelievable and I would have to say my money is on May 26th all I can do uh, is share the signs that I see with you there is no guarantee of knowing the day or the hour but we are commanded by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to watch, to watch the signs, to pray to be ready to escape from the trial that is going to be coming upon the entire world. An amazing sign in the heavens, confirmed by the book of Joel, confirmed by the book of Acts, that the moon shall be turned to blood before the day of the Lord. We have shared in previous messages that this is the eighth blood moon since the first blood moon of the Tetrad in 2014. And there are many signs pointing to this day. Now, there the fireworks are going off in the background. So this is what I'm going to share with you tonight. May 26, 2021. Let us take a look. Seven years previous to this day. May 26, 2014. What happened? On May 26, 2014, seven years to the day. Here we go. Let's take a look at this information. The Pope visits Jerusalem holy sites on last day in the Middle East, May 26, 2014. Pope Francis has visit, visited the most important holy sites for Muslims and Jews in Jerusalem in the old city on the final day of his Middle East tour. The last day of the Pope's tour started at al Aska Mosque compound in Jerusalem's old city. He met Muslim leaders outside the Dome of the Rock And this was an amazing moment in history on May 26, 2014. Shortly before departing for Rome from Ben Gurion Airport, he celebrated Mass at the site known as the Senecal, where Jesus is reputed to have taken part in the Last Supper with his apostles on the eve of his crucifixion. The Senecal is located in a historic building on Mount Zion that is also sacred to both Jews and Muslims. The reputed burial place of King David is on the ground floor of the Senecal while a mosque is situated on the roof. They have taken the place of the Last Supper and they've turned it into a mosque. And the Pope went to Israel, to Jerusalem, and on the last day of his three-day trip, he went to the most important sites, important to Jews and Muslims. He went to the al Aska Mosque, he went to the Weeping Wall, and he went to the Senecal, where Jesus had his Last Supper. He shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. And in the midst of the week, he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. 
and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate daniel 9:27 let us take a look at this event as the possible covenant with many pope francis going to jerusalem meeting with muslim leaders on the place of the temple mount going to the place of the of the last supper of jesus christ which has now been turned into a mosque and sh and having a mass at this location now if this was a covenant with many that the bible describes then there is going to be huge evidence that is going to be connected with this and this is what I'm going to be sharing with you tonight I'll be sharing with you that from Monday May 26 2014 if we go forward 1290 days it brings us to Wednesday December 6 2017 who knows what happened on December 6, 2017. Now, before we move on, let us remember, okay, that everything that we're watching is connected to Jerusalem, right? May 26, 2014. Then we move forward 1,290 days. And what do we have? A declaration about Jerusalem here we have our Jerusalem timeline that is being formulated going all the way back to the trip by Pope Francis 1290 days previous to this declaration December 6 2017 Donald Trump declares that Jerusalem is Israel's capital December 6 2017 17 okay now we have two events that are all surrounded and centered on Jerusalem connected by 1290 days what do we get when we move forward seven days it's another declaration about Jerusalem but this is not by Israel this is by the Muslim nations the 57 Muslim nations at this extraordinary summit that took place on December 13, 2017, declaring that East Jerusalem is the capital of Palestine. Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a covenant with the many as Pope Francis goes and meets just as it says with the Muslim leaders outside the Dome of the Rock he met with the Muslim leaders okay it doesn't say that he met with the Jewish leaders he met with the Muslim leaders outside the Dome of the Rock he had a mass in what was once belonged to the Christians now is a mosque belongs to the Muslims and this is where he had his mass so this is a covenant with the many who are the many the many nations all the Muslim nations okay and Donald Trump made a declaration that Jerusalem is Israel's capital but what did Islam do seven days later they confirmed the covenant that was made by Pope Francis three and a half years prior 1297 days 1290 days plus seven days and they confirmed the covenant by saying that Jerusalem belongs to the Palestinians now Remember what we had said about the covenant with many and how all of these details need to line up? Well, we have May 26th, 2014. We have 1,290 days. Brings us to December 6th, 2017. We have a seven-day interval between December 6th and December 13th. And on December 13th, the covenant was confirmed. 
And what do we get when we go forward 1260 days from December 13, 2017 to 1260 days brings us to the total lunar eclipse on May 26, 2021. What do we have here? We have a biblical timeline that is so amazingly perfect that from May 26, 2014, the Pope in Jerusalem at the Wailing Wall, at the mosque, at the birth, at the uh, the place of Jesus' Last Supper, at the at the burial site of King David. 1290 days bringing us to the Trump declaration of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. But then we have a confirming of the covenant, not with Donald Trump, but a, a, a counter to the, the declaration of Donald Trump. Donald Trump did not go alongside of Pope Francis because Pope Francis is siding with the Muslims and is siding with the Palestinians. So Donald Trump was not the one to confirm the covenant. The ones that were confirming the covenant were the 57 nations. It was a covenant with the many. And 57 nations, if you want to consider this as being the many, confirmed the covenant with Pope Francis, the covenant of Pope Francis, on December 13th, and then you add 1260 days, and it brings us to the total lunar eclipse on May 26, 2021. This is a perfect seven-year timeline from May 26, 2014, 1290, plus 7, plus 1260, for a total of 2,557 days. 2,550 days plus seven okay now here is what we need to understand about these signs we have a seven-year covenant we have a covenant that took place seven years ago we have a midweek abomination by the confirming of the covenant and by the declaration of Islam that East Jerusalem belongs to the Palestinians. This is an abomination. Jerusalem belongs to Israel. This is the biblical understanding of the ownership of Jerusalem. It does not belong to the Palestinians. It belongs to Israel. So here we have a covenant with many. Number two, we have a midweek abomination. We have the 1260 and the 1290 days accounted for. And one of the most important details in all of this is that all four events center on Jerusalem. The covenant by Pope Francis was made in Jerusalem. The midweek abomination was the declaration about Jerusalem. Okay, then we have the fulfillment of the 1260 and the 1290 days. And just to remind everybody, all blood moon eclipses are a sign for Israel. This blood moon eclipse, whether it is over Israel or not, it is over actually the Pacific Ocean and it's actually going to be centered at about midnight over Hawaii, okay, which is the birthplace of the Antichrist, Barack Obama, supposedly, right? Well, about midnight, this blood moon total lunar, total lunar eclipse will happen over Hawaii. But all blood moon eclipses are a sign for Israel. Total solar eclipses are a sign for the nations, but this is a sign for Israel. And this sign goes together with seven years 
of signs that are coming together and all pointing to Jerusalem from the visit to Pope Francis, from the declaration of Donald Trump, from the declaration of the Islam of the, of the Muslims that that uh, East Jerusalem belongs to Palestine, and we have the 1260, the 1290 days, and we have a seven-day interval that completes a perfect seven-year calendar on the Gregorian calendar from May 26th, 2014 to May 26th, 2021. So as I said at the beginning of this, no one knows the time or the day exactly, but we are called to watch the signs. And if I had to make one last final guess, my money would be on May 26th, the total lunar blood eclipse, which fulfills the eighth total lunar blood eclipse since the first eclipse of the Tetrad in 2014. This is the eighth. And this is what I want to share with you tonight. This is for your consideration, for your prayer, for your uh, review. So I will leave with you the links of my previous videos that I've done pointing to May 26th. And this information is icing on the cake. I pray you are all blessed tonight. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people the sign of his coming revealed.